So the paper that I published in Diabetology last year is about a disproportionality analysis of uh, diabetic ketoacidosis events in patients who are taking SGLT2 inhibitors. What we did is to perform an analysis, an analysis of disproportionality among patients uh, who were receiving SGLT2 inhibitors and for whom the doctors fired an adverse drug reaction in the Uni United States um, Food and Drug Administration Adverse Events Database. And basically, what, what we did is to look at the numbers of the events uh, in, the, in the group of patients who received were on SGLT2 inhibitors and compare the number of events in the group of patients who were on other glucose lowering medications. And if you find a disproportional high uh, reporting for DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis in the patients on SGLT2 inhibitors versus those on other glucose lowering medication, it, it is clear that there is a signal that suggests that this adverse drug reaction is important and can, can be impactful for the patients. So this is a message, a message the clinicians want to know. So after we performed this first pharmacovigilance analysis on DKEA and SGLT2 inhibitors, uh, this gave us the opportunity to dig more into pharmacovigilance databases and we performed other uh, association analysis, for instance, for amputations in patients who were uh, also on SG2, SGLT2 inhibitors and on the interaction between drugs and the risk of developing urinary tract infections. For instance, we did an interaction analysis between SGLT2 inhibitors and dpp inhibitors. Basically, what we understood is that analysis of the uh, Food and Drug Administration Adverse Event Reporting System can provide you a lot of information, um, also beyond what is normally uh, asked to pharmacovigilance analysis. We chose to publish that paper in Diabetologia because we saw that the clinical interest uh, on Diabetologia was increasing, that is the, the number of clinical papers that uh, were uh, getting published in Diabetologia was increasing, uh, also because there is a, a big audience that receives uh, Diabetologia. Um, the submission is uh, relatively easy uh, to do, uh, the turnaround time, that is the time from submission to first decision is relatively short. There's no uh, charge for submission, uh, there's no pay charge, and also there is no color charge, which is very important because we had color figures in that paper.